like to see the Jackie. Maybe he's not so, uh, Jackie's a bit more rusty, not so. I think that might be the case. It's okay, let's see what Cry can do. Because we've seen Cry, Cry has played very well this entire tournament, so. And these two are actually very familiar with each other. They play uh, quite long uh, two player sets. Mm -hmm. Now using the uh, speed of Pi there, interrupting with that uh, jumping kick, the yip kick. Not playing very, real smart right now. Yeah, it's very fast mid. And the evasiveness. Oh, and he hasn't dropped it yet today. Look at the damage. Strong with a toe kick. Good throw from now. On. Low kick, kick. Backs off on the wake up. Ah, uh, link up. Ethan Cry. Oh, yeah, takes it with the elbow. Mm -hmm. Cry just doesn't seem to be able to find an opening to actually get in. Yeah, so he's just he's filling up the uh, screen with buttons, lots of fast moves. Um, it's hard against um, Powerful Lister because. Um, he has a strong whatever character you want to name from pretty much any character. Yeah. Other than Shun, he's got a shit Shun. His Shun is awful. <laughs> Worst Shun in Europe. But... I think he doesn't play Eileen, but you don't really need to, do you? No, no one's got a good Eileen. You just you just guess against Eileen, and that's fine. Just, yeah. Uh, the guess is in your favor. If you lose to Eileen, this is a uh, I'll call out the American player. You you yeah. are really tricky. That it means that tricky is really beating you. <laughs> yeah. That means he's out guessing you. Pure. Mm -hmm. Okay, good work from that out there. So he does take game one. So we're going to be moving into game two now. Yeah, but it's a long road. Um, it's first of three. So he's got a lot of time to come back. That's correct. Let's go work at the start from Cry there. Gets him in the nose again. Oh, and the oh, big. Nice I thought he was going to have to low again. Really getting counter here. He's really um, being choosing well when he's pressing buttons. Okay, good work from Cry there. Yeah, strong round, really strong defense. Um, didn't really press many buttons, didn't really evade much, just static. Um, forced the other player to make a decision. Mm -hmm. That's punishable. Breaks the back for him. He's really making use of like the max range of a lot of these moves. It doesn't punish the the knee. I mean, sorry. Neutral throw. Right. Neutral throw. I tries to use the scoop kick. Doesn't get it. Good Oki for now. Round three. So the wake ups in this game are a bit odd. Um, as you're getting up, there is a sort of small window where you have to either choose to block or attack, but you cannot evade. Mm -hmm. uh, really tight pressure there from now. Yeah. And I'm, I still believe that OM oh, into that shoulder charge is not real, but... <laughs> it shouldn't be, but it, it happens a lot. And it seems to work, so... Oh, I get that again. Quick. He's not the problem is against such a solid player, um, to find the gap to do the toe kick, um, not easy. Oh, he that's the first it. drop. Ah, uh, now it replies his own throw. I feel the robbery for Cry right now, so it's a 2 0 to now right now. It was close. Very, very, very close.
Um, Alright, so this is um, going to be match, match points. Mm -hmm. uh, if he can win. Nice punish after going under that full circle. By poking away, doing damage. Go work from now there. Big back throw. Oh, a good throw from Cry takes the first round. Front bat breaker. Round two. Ready, go. I feel like Cry needs to change up his Oki setups at the moment because right now he keeps going for the uh, the forward kick. On the okay and not getting anything from it. It's plus some block, um, so it should be low risk, but um, Pi is fast enough to sort of fight a way out of it. Convince him around there for now. That's that 1kk, the low kick. Lots of 2ps. Now says no more of that. Just two count side turn, but I don't believe it was counter hit. Another throw throw. No. Goes in for the low. Okay, so this is this is match point for now. now. This will put him into grand finals if he wins. Pulls into the wall. Not easy to do against Jeffrey, but he's managing. Now just fall is back way back into the middle of the stage. Good work from Cry. I like seeing him use that kick cancel to try and bait all the evade. Big shoulder after the evade though. Back to the wall again. Oh, that's yeah, heavy. With a wall combo, now is going to take it. it. Takes you with a troll combo, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is going to be a three-zero for now. A strong showing. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't count because he didn't use Jackie. True. He didn't use Jackie and he didn't use Shun, so he has not redeemed himself. So right now we are going to have to move down into loser's bracket. Oh, so you controller disconnected? Hmm? Let's go. I just saw on the screen on the stream the controller disconnected. That was me. Oh, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Cool. Um. So next up, uh, you are you good at? Am I gonna what? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Ah, oh, sick. I'm just checking. You know, you 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 taking that? Focus, focus. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I had some guests come over. You're sleep today. Uh. Anyway, guys. Uh, in the meantime. Hope you guys two stance heavy characters. So the question against all matchups against Shun are always how good is your sober game? Combo, good, good mm -hmm. pick up from King Han there. He's King fighting him. his way away with zero drinks. He's not even going for it. He's just he's doing the Japanese tactic of wait till I'm up, like wait till I win a round, then I get some drinks in me. Good evade there. Gets himself some drinks right at the end. Up uh, to five okay. drinks in this round. And the thing is, if you're beating people and you got zero drinks, like you you playing good because Shun ain't strong with zero drinks. Yeah, I'm not sure how well Leifei um, does the whole solo thing. No, oh, he's doing a lot of good work with Leifei. Put the pressure on him. Doesn't really get much sober there. He only took one drink off the entire round. Down to four though. I think the key is to keep him under six if you can. Okay, takes another one off. Oh! oh the teleport on the cat's throw. Oh! oh. Kick is plus on block. To his advantage. He says he's just gonna lie down and take the drinks. I respect it. Okay. Oh, he's up to oh, eight. Oh, crazy. this is not a good point. Challenge. And that'll be twelve drinks to end the round. 
Hey, King, I'm looking real nasty going into this. Uh, what are we on now? The fourth round of, of the match. The so man, Dud is doing real, real well, to be fair. I'm quite impressed. He's taking a few drinks off him and he's getting a lot of pokes in there. And he takes the round. This is a nice tight game. Round five. Ready, go. Get to back it out with the stance. So that stance will counter all punches and elbows of all height. Oh, King Un gets caught real bad. Started doing some weird stance stuff. Free count here, there. Slightly quite. He doesn't have Chawan though, unfortunately, because he's still only on seven drinks. He's got the first kill of it. Mm. Which is enough to do the combo. Oh, that's... smart move there. Taking the lie down stands afterwards. Bro. Oh, he doesn't go for the evade. Oh, oh I get the 6k plus G. Low. Low. Real good read there. So, King, I'm looking real strong after that first game. Remember, we're back to being first to two for a little while. So, this is not going to be first to three. Oh, and we've got a tackle. Ooh. So Lei Fei is um, seen as a weaker character. Mm. But when the wall is to his opponent's back, he's now top tier. He has so many options to put them into the wall. Um, big combos. That was a cool out there, staying in the stance. The thing is, if... If King I'm can actually start pushing him towards the edge of the ring, he's really gonna like he is gonna be looking real strong. He's up to six drinks and a remand. King has been um, intelligent. He's seen um, where he's being caught with that uh, Sebastian stance and is choosing when to use his lows um, mm -hmm. quite intelligently. Um, a lot of them are landing counter hit. Oh, good Sebastian into the wall doesn't get the wall the slump just to hit. That was real nice there from King Han. Up to seven drinks. So he does have the first hit, Chawan. He needs one more to get the second in. Yeah, so that's really hard to respond to. Ah, oh, man. That looks so cool. Again, uh, the low. So this is match point right now for King Han. Man, King Han's looking so good today. Yeah, playing really well. Though Dud is saying he's not quite done yet. Takes him down to seven drinks. Oh, he goes for the second part of it. for it. <laughs> I respect it. Yeah. Oh, that, that was good. That Sabaki stand was just at the right time. Doesn't get the wall combo again. Good back dash from King Han there. Avoid the, the sort of arrow punch. Oh, you got to break that stagger. Top mm -hmm. of line. You got to do it. Yeah, I'm just backing off, getting the drinks in while he can. Uh, so that low into the um, sweep is guaranteed on counter hit. Oh, catch throw. They're bringing it back. As we were, he was at quite a disadvantage after the first two rounds, so it's very impressive that he's bringing it back this hard. Catches the uh, sort of dive kick, not dive kick, sort of the uh, body projectile move that Shun's got. Oh, he doesn't block, and that's gonna be it. Good work from Kingheim to take it to. Oh, yeah. the close games, both of them. Wrong back swing block. So Exlib has also moved on in loser's bracket, eliminating Mister. 
So that means that our next game, I believe, is going to be Exlove versus Chief Gooey. And Kingheim is going to move on in loser's bracket. Oh. Mm-hmm. Stream. I know you're doing some... Uh, is it is it Capcom Pro Tour tonight? Yep. Right. Yeah, yeah. So watch out, smash that. Throw him some subs, too. Give him all the good yeah. shit, yo. Alright, we're jumping in. Excellent vs. Chief Gooey. I don't think I've watched these guys play each other before. No, I don't think I've seen it. Um, good what? awareness, Chief Gooey, right there. Yeah. Neutral throw from x -Live. He's back to the wall, but that's not really a problem with l -Blaze. You can fly off it. See Mr. in the chat cheering for Chief Gooty. Yeah, even the Wolf Alliance stays, even if you're not still using Wolf at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, he just wants someone to avenge him. <laughs> yeah. He just don't want to have lost in vain. Damn, Chief Gooty looking real strong right now. Nice combos. He knows his combos, his lightweight combos. He's mm -hmm. Oh, he does it again. Oh, it's right. Yeah, it's not it's not throw guarantee. So oh, move. Uh good evade gets the throw. He throws so little damage, but he just gets too little lows in after that's gonna finish him off. Uh, so Sarah's neutral throw gives a really, really strong um, wake up game, Okazemi. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's good so and real nasty right now. Good Oki pressure gets the counter hit. Finishes it off with half circular. Um, it was count hit, but it didn't look like he caught an evade, so I'm not sure how. Press some sort of button. Nope, and he eats the uh, <laughs> the flamingo mix-up. So a lot of serious flamingo entries are plus on block. Um, Oh, good stagger break from Chief Gooey right there. Gets the throw to end it out. Okay, so that's 1 0 to Chief Gooey right now. Strong show it, yeah. Try again in a few years. Okay, they raid it up again. Jumping into. Second game of the set. Round one. Ready, um, Mr. Vienna, I don't think you need Nat Type 1. It's usually just Nat Type 2 is okay. Yeah, Nat Type 2 is pretty optimal for PlayStation 4. Okay, Axel looking really patient right now. Gets the low crush. Good work. Oh, yo, Denkai, what's good? I see you here, Rod Nuts as well. Or the VF who come through. Nice strong round for Axel as well. Ooh, good low there. Low cat uh, hit throw. Denkai instilling the curse on Chief Kuti now that he's cheering for him. Oh no. Oh, and Rod Nuts, see guys, why'd you, why'd you cheer, yo? Like, you... Don't be doing that. Oh, cool. Oh, What's him against the wall? Oh, it was all part oh. of the plan. That was a nice sub. Nice Oki pressure. That's it. Two rounds mm -hmm. up. Excellent looking scary. Didn't take the knee kick. Yeah, 
Ah, excellent again. Reading the low. This match at the moment is very uh, momentum based. Mm -hmm. It's all about which which player is able to stay on their feet and force the other person to guess. Really. Good work from Chief Kuyo right there. <coughs> stay patient. There with the uh, elbow knee to start the round. Ooh, nice work. Ooh, crushes the rising kick. Jumps the low. And once again, just does it twice. And he gets so much damage from that against Sarah. Oh, he has nice. to wait for the follow up from the elbow and he takes it to catch throw, but. Take, take a match point. Mm. It's a real tight game right now. This could go either way. Oh, that's low. He's got a duck there at the string. Oh, nice launcher for Chief Gooty. Gets big damage coming in there. He doesn't take the end of the combo. He instead goes to set up and gets another hit. That normal hit launcher. Jesus. Gets out the way, tries to go for the little low poke, doesn't get it. Oh, he's got a bit of space now, Sliv, what's he going to do with it? Oh, I know that, that Sarah, that big sidekick. Mm-hmm. Real good work from both players there, but Chief Kui is going to take it. He gets to go on to fight Kingheim in our next game. So he is making the loser's bracket run right now. What's all this Italian in chat? Hey, King I was in the room. Chief Kuti dipped out real quick. I'm getting back in here. Are they talking about nap pipes or something? Probably. Ah, yeah, I think so. So is this um, Loser's Final? No, uh, this is not quite Loser's Final. Um, the game after this will be Loser's Final. One of our last three games we're going to be having from King Haim versus Chief Kuti. So we're into the uh, top three now. Uh, we're into top four. Top four? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Top top four. Right. So this is to uh, see who gets a podium placement. Now, these, both these players have been looking real strong today, so I wouldn't really want to put it either way, but I think Chief Gooty is not going to be missing out on the notch for Sober combo, as we're already seeing. Like, the amount of carry, damage, and Sober he's getting from, like, the same yeah. combo. It looks like he knows his stuff really. That was very, very optimal. Got uh, Kingheim backed into the corner. Um, mm -hmm. Ring out his wrist, but Kingheim's getting his drinks. I swear he's up to seven drinks. Just needs I mean, one if more. If you're playing Shun, if you're gonna lose the round, get your drinks in. Oh yeah. Oh, he goes for the sober at the end. Nice work. Still on six drinks though. Six isn't bad after the first uh, round. Now I said didn't know Gooty was a lag god. That was sick. <laughs> he's much better offline. I promise you. Oh, nice fuzzy from Chief Gooty right there. Yeah. And a hit check as well with the launcher. Oh, good interrupt with that kick. Gets a count. I'll get the mule kick. Goes straight for line down. Smart move from Kingheim there. Oh, he doesn't finish it. He could have killed him there. Oh, and he pays the price. Work, Chief Gooey. Sometimes you got to finish your, your dinner. Just eat all your food. Though Kingheim is on nine drinks, he's going to be more than nine drinks in a second. 
Okay, okay. Just back just back just there to avoid the uh, sort of stance mix up. Ah, uh, gets caught by the bullshit kick. The singular hit. So good offense from Kingheim here. And he's yeah. backing off quite a lot and then coming back in. Nice throw from Chief Gooey. How many is that sober? Zero. That's peak. Good challenge there. Mm hmm. Oh. oh. Burn some drinks. So that launcher there takes drinks from Shun, but it is mid plus on block and gives a combo if it lands. Mm hmm. So it was a real nice round. And he did end the round with as many drinks as before he sacrificed them for that nice launcher. Good throw escape from Chief Cootie right there. Back into the corner, and again he just backdashes. He's, he's out of there, he's not taking any part of that mix up. Smart moves from Chief Cootie here. Oh, and, and King Iron just. <laughs> it's down here, but I'm, done. I'm not doing this. Yeah, but he just gets it. He sits down, gets himself a nice view as Sarah kicks over oh, him. Good throw escape from Chief Cootie right there. It's a good block from Kingham as well. Oh, one more hit. Ah, the one KK. Time. Oh. He knows he's going to stay on the floor. Yep, he knows time is running up. Smart work from Chief Kuti right there. Yeah. Shun needs to use 3P more. 3P is a very strong move. He says that's a 1 0 -oh for Chief Kuti right now. But Kingheim looking real strong today. Jesus. Yeah. I remember when people were chatting about ranked online and being like, ah, you know, I got to this rank, I got to this rank. Chief Gooty right now is sitting at level 24 defender rank. Ranks don't mean shit. They mean nothing, like literally nothing. <laughs> in this game anyway. Yeah. Let's see how many seconds you'll last Maybe in Japan, like a high level, then sure. But like, Europe? Mm. Don't know about that. NA? Don't know about that. Good throw, skip that. Forward I'm throw, gets up to six drinks. Good dude with the elbow knee. Pops him down. Oh, prevent him from going to lying down. Yeah. So I do wonder if King Haim is going to adjust and do something to stop the uh, back dashes. He's got a few options there. 3-3-P, three, three another good option. Chase it up and launch yeah, on the camp. Yeah. Back dash. Oh, he takes an interesting combo there. Round two. Ready, go. 13 drinks though going into round two. Don't push the button. He didn't really take a big combo off of that knee, which is there was a combo available to him. Nice throw from Chief Kuti. Chief Kuti is playing real smart right now. Yeah, he's he just playing pretty safe. Take, he's going to get Chawand. Yeah. He's not running after him either. Like there, just backdash. They don't need to take the mix up. I think that's one of the hardest things, especially for newer players dealing with a shun, is because he's low on health, they will chase after him, but chasing after shun is not something you really want to do. Yeah. He can pull so much shit out of his ass. From King Khan's but... point of view, um, he's going to have to start calling out the backdash at some point, be like, okay, you're going to backdash, so I'm going to roll towards you or do something else from the floor. Chase you down. Oh, nice work from GP. Look at that combo. Just the sober at the end. Yeah, but 14 drinks, though. It's a lot. Yeah, it's still going to be hard to pull him back from. I mean, he's up to 15 now. You've got to use him, though. Are you doing any drink-specific moves? Not really doing too much different at the moment. Right now, Chief Gooty is just playing it so safe that I don't think even doing crazy moves can is actually able to get in. Big sweep there. Knocks him down. Nice throw escape. Get. Mm. Gets away. I'm seeing a lot of really good nice, uh, guess. He's, he's taking that full throw a lot, and um, at this point with Shun, you do want to just take the full throw. You don't want him to back throw you a lot of the times. If he's not doing the full throw where he goes behind you, that is. Up to 19 drinks now as well. No good work from Chief Kuti. He's going to try and put the pressure on. King Hive's got to make it to this final round to make those drinks count for something. Yes. Oh, and, and do it. Chief Kuti takes it. Good work from both players there.
Yeah, so I think, uh, uh see how much of a you. difference it makes. Um, thank you, thank He's been lucky enough to get the tackle. Mm hmm. Oh, and that's the guard break. That's going to be a ring up. Nice work from Cry there. Very convincing first round. So the taco I'd say is good for Lau. Um, he's got good carry on his combos. He's got good wall combos. Uses the wall well situationally. Side wall when you're back to the wall. Even when his back is to the wall, he can get damage. Mm -hmm. Good launch there from Cry. Look at the goddamn combo damage. Jesus Christ. That's going to be it. Oh, he doesn't hit the wall fully. So he drops the combo. Didn't recognize that it was a wall slump, not a full wall hit. Still a very strong round for Cry right there. He hasn't taken very much damage at all these two rounds. Mm -hmm. Big full throw from Goody into the wall. That's plus and block from the side. Cry with the pressure right now. Yeah, and good patience from Goody as well. Not pushing any buttons, just waiting out. Yeah, and some really nice optimal combos coming out from Cry as well. Both of them pausing for a second there. Oh, uh, almost gets the Oki from Chief Yui. Yeah, and we see the elbow on the follow up from the counter here, elbow. Good work. Oh, launcher from Gooty. Really nice adjustment from Gooty there as well. Recognized that he was um, facing the wrong way. Stagger break cry as well. That's going to be big damage. Mm -hmm. Back to the wall though. Ah, oh, gets the guard break. And he knows his lightweight combos. Big evade from Gooty, but doesn't punish. He wait he had to wait out the second hit of the string. Um, which didn't come. So nice work from Cry right there. Goes 1-0. Remember this is a first to three, so Chief Gooty does yeah. have plenty and of we'll see if we get the uh, bug that happens sometimes where after one tackle it gives you the second one. Which does seem to persist in this game. The the attention to detail was immaculate. That they recreated a lot of the same bugs. Okay, no, we're not getting tackle again. We're all good. Round one. Ready, go. So a few pokes from Gooty. Keeping it safe. Flamingo stuff. Right, Cry takes the throw. That that's the throw. The duck break direction for that throw is back. Usually, you want to break back against Lau because the mix-up is more damage than any other throw, really. It doesn't finish the combo there. Good. Doesn't punish. Oh, nice guard break from Cry. Guard breaks are very strong in this game. Mm hmm. Round two. Ready, go. Good punish. Didn't let him get away. They're both waiting each other out. Both players are very patient with each other. That's plus. Chief Gooty trying to keep it tight, but Cry is finding every gap he can. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't get a big punish against that knee. You can tell usually when the um, defense is good, you get a lot of rounds like this one that goes very long times of time. Real nice look at the wall from Cry there. Yeah, so as I said, Lao does have some quite nasty wall stuff. Feeling each other out. The Goody's the first one to get a real advantage there with that full throw. Nice life lead at the moment. Pressuring with the elbows. And there's the guard break again. Cry almost equalizing the health right here. Oh, that's punishable. Oh, catch some crouch dash forward. Okay, good work from Chief Goody taking the round. 
But remember this, uh, it's not, I almost said it's match point, it's not match point, this is a first to three. Here's that throw again. At some point, Guti's gonna have to just start breaking back. Good block. You, know, you right can there. hold your throw breaks in this game. There we go. That was actually forward throw, so he's he's continuing to break forward. So Cry is now two and zero. Oh. Remember, this is first to three. I'm saying that as much for my benefit as yours. I go Pappy. Why does that just sound wrong? Yeah, I don't like that. Don't no. Yeah. None we, of that. We're rejecting that one. Yeah. Inappropriate nickname. Yeah. Flag on the play. Mm. Round one. Ready, go. All right, let's see. Good start from Cryo right there. Nice combo. Big combo. I, I don't know if that one's green or not. It seemed like maybe it's lightweight or weight specific combo. I would be surprised if it was Sarah specific. I know these guys have played a lot. Both of them kind of took a break, like, during the last few years. I'm sure they've both come back for Ultimate Showdown. So it's really nice to see them both playing this tournament. Nice work from Chief Cootie there. Oh, gets caught. Just in time. Usually you have to wait. Um, Sarah's gone into that stance. You don't know if the move's coming out. She's just cancelling into Flamingo. Um, Cryer's picked a really fast move to interrupt Gooty's mid there. Oh, nice guard breaking cry. And look there again, there's that, that lightweight combo. Put his back to the edge of the ring though. And he fight his way out. Nice. Oh, nice launch. Big punish from cry there. Good, okay, pressure. Okay, so this is match point for Cry right now. I did mention before at the start of the tournament, Cry, one of his strengths is um, his uh, whiff punishment. If you whiff a high, Lau is very strong at that. He can punish highs quite strongly. Everyone's saying, let's go, Gooey. Don't be sleeping on Cry, yo. Like, Gooey's well good, but Cry right now is looking terrifying. He's going to force him out. Oh, doesn't get a full punish. Oh, staggered. Keep getting caught. Has to be careful. Pressure from Gooty here. Sticking on him. Forces the evade with a kick cancel. Nice. Go. Neutral throw to take it. Very close. Again, you see the, the amount of time in the round. Down to 8 seconds. Um, VF rounds tend to be really fast. So if the round's gone really long, it means either both players are doing nothing, which isn't the case here. Or the defense is very good. Mm -hmm. Nice call up by Chief Cootie right there. Good damage from the combo as well. Is that back throw again? Puts you in the mixer. Nice punish on the low though. Again, the back throw. Mix up, plus frames. Doesn't get the side turn shoulder. And that's the back throw. Ooh. Oh, so good. Right, gonna get it. Side kick. Was that a counter hit? Yeah, it was a counter hit. You just caught him doing something on the wake up. The cry takes it now. Mm -hmm. Very good work from Cry right there. So that means Chief Gooey comes third in the tournament. But now we have our Grand Finals. But before we do have our Grand Finals... We're gonna shill a tiny bit more. So, as we said before, this tournament is sponsored by Tournament. We have a nice little Tournament logo at the center of the stream. Um, Tournament is a bracketing website, so please do go check them out. They sponsored us for $300 today, so also supporting the tournament at Matcherino. So we really do appreciate it. We still have 15 coupon codes left on Matcherino as well, so please do go and use those. Um, Tournament reached out to us uh, a couple of, maybe like a month or two back, and so we've been discussing, seeing what we can do. And this is one of the first, like, West, I think, no, this is the first yeah. Western event using Tournament. It's a sponsored event. Um, they have been super awesome. If you run events, whether it be like small locals or like large scale online events, 
please do look into using Tonema and please do try and reach out to them on Twitter as well. They are very responsive and they are looking to get involved with more Western events. So please do go check them out. Yep. And, Obviously, uh, I'll, let you, I'll let you do the rest of the show on you. Yep. And uh, thank you to them for donating $300 today to the tournament. Right now we're at $354.65. Uh, make sure to click claim code. So we got 15 codes left. You'll donate 50 cents to the prize pool completely free. You can check out Power IA. You can check out Lucid Sound. You can check out G Fuel Energy. I'm scrolling down. Twitch Quest, Twitter Quest, YouTube Quest. There's tons of free ways for you guys to contribute with your um, social media platforms. And you know, anybody that subscribes today, we throw in a dollar to the Matcharino. Thank you so much to uh, Tonamel for doing something cool like this. And we're about to get to the grand finals. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready when you are, brother. It's weird. So now it's going with Pies. We've got a law battle again. Mm -hmm. ready, go. Again, I'm disappointed we aren't seeing uh, Jackie right now, but... Now we're looking very aggressive to start this off. Yeah, he's trying to end it quick if he can. He actually told me that. Try time to adapt or he could actually be in trouble. And again, you want to adapt to the online, to the lag, but um, you're fighting against someone who was born in the lag, who was molded by the lag. He didn't see a wide connection until he was already a man. First cow, this is going to be a good one. Okay, good round from Cry right there. Pretty much turning it around in comparison to how the first round was. Yo, Art, your PS5 trying to enter rest mode, yo. In 10 minutes, we'll be done by them. Really good defense from Cry. Yeah. Uh, it's, oh, it's that's probably good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Two rounds up for Nauta right now. Round four. Ready, go. Nope. Green combos, but... Oh, oh he just right. calls it out. The real big uh, full circle. Nice work right there. People in the chat worried about the nine minutes. The nine minutes is enough for a reset. Yes, yeah, the quick game. Ah, oh, good call up, like combo. He had to adjust his normal combo there, um, so there was actually in that combo. Good low block. Oh, um, I don't know if he's blocking that low in reaction or he's just uh, read. It was a read, mm. but it was a really good block. Very close first game, but Nauta is going to take it 1-0 right now. So we'll see who's the uh, first person to adjust, make some differences in the way they play. Mm -hmm. Remember, now it is as well, I believe, the highest ranked Pi in the world on Ultimate Showdown. I think he might be the highest ranked Jackie in the world as well, because I think he's Magma Lord with both characters. And I think he might even have a Magma Lord Leife as well. But if you ask him about it, he doesn't mean Leife. Thank you everyone I'm seeing donating. I really appreciate it. Mm. Please use those codes. Please use the uh, sponsor quest as well. They do yeah, help out with left. So again, it's pretty strong uh, defense from most both players. No one's committing too much to anything. A lot of poking. Oh, the range! That was the tippy toe. Right, he was safe. Is that back throw again? Staggered string. Yip kick to take it. Good work from now. If Lau is hit by one yip kick, he can't actually interrupt the second one. Catches him with the second K, which is interesting. Tried to hit him into the wall, but didn't quite get it. Nice throw break. Oh, 
Bro. people cry right now. He seems to be running away with it a bit. I think Cry needs to make some adjustments very quickly. Lots of poking still, counter poking. Good Is that okay? Game. Yeah, I mean, uh, against solid players, the connection is not too bad. Most you'd expect that to be broken. Ah, mm. uh, good launch and cry. Round, and then the cry gets himself on the board. At the moment, uh, now I'm just letting strings rock with Pi. Pressure from Pro. Uh, okay. I was going to take that round. And he's going to take this game. So, okay, so he is 2 0 right now. The chances of Cry getting a reset are looking slimmer and slimmer unless he makes some very big adjustments. Will he stick with Lao, do you think, or will he give Jeffrey a go? I think I'll stick with Lau. I think his Lau is going to be stronger in this situation than his Jeffrey. Oh, they're both ready it up and they're both going right back in. Um, breakable half fence, uh, Pi versus Lau. Pi must win to keep the match alive. Back throw, what's the setup? Oh, uh, it's not uh, capturing the game. Oh, okay, now we're good. Smash for reason for me. Okay. Now I really does want to finish this one quick. Trying to speed run. Mm -hmm. Cry, we're getting himself some space with the back jumps. Now it chases him down, though. Again, with the yip kicks. So you block one, you... Um, it's usually just elbow you need to do, really. Can't do anything too expansive. Uh, the second one might come. Uh, nice work with the shoulder there. The crush as well. Oh, knocks him out of that big charge. Doesn't get a combo. He falls a bit too far. There's the combo. Go work from cry. Big full circle. I wonder if he would like to have broken that wall there. I can see it being useful, I mean, well, yeah, no, I think it's on his side. Yeah. Big whip punish. He techs it. Oh, no, that's going to yeah. hurt. Big wall combo's coming out from now. Into the wall. Good conversion from now. It doesn't get the last hit. All stumps from sweeps are bullshit. They, they really kind of are. Oh. Okay, this is tournament point for Nato right now. The Karate went for a um, high jumping attack, so he tried to call out a low, but just got hit by mid. It's unfortunate. Now, now it's still applying that pressure, 14 frame uh, pressure. A lot of good choices right now. karate has got a lot to come back from. Yeah, Ooh, oh, that, do it. I accidental jump, I wonder. What gets mm. hit out of the air? Good game for both players, but um, Very now takes the tournament with Pi. Very strong show. Mm -hmm. GG's to both players. Thank you everyone who has watched and donated. Um, that is unfortunately the end of the tournament. Uh, now it is the winner. So in first place we do have now a second place we have Cry. Third place we have Chief Gooey. Uh, very good games to everyone who's competed, though. Thank you, everyone who has watched. And again, a big thank you to Tonamel for sponsoring the tournament. We really do appreciate it, donating a huge amount to the match, you know, helping fund Global Showdown and the EUVF circuit in general. Please do go check them out. Uh, they do a lot of cool stuff. Please do check out the match, you know. You don't need to stop looking now. We still have 11 codes left. Um, you know, that's five. That's five dollars fifty cents. So please do check that out too. Got a lot of sponsor quests going on still. Please stick around on the stream as well, like to watch Art. He's going to be playing some Street Fighter. He's going to be doing a Capcom Pro Tour tonight, so stick around for that shit. Some top level Dawson play.
Yeah. Um, I think that's it from us. Thank you, Molly, for commentary with me as well on such short notice. Oh, 